No, I mean we were plugging for that on stage. We were quite disappointed we took two times to back up. We went back to our rooms last night and uh, it was brilliant. We spent all night trying to fuck up. Yeah. Sixth of April, Scooby Doo, Midhurst Detours. Yeah, you can come down with us, yeah. There's a gig on sixth of April. Midhurst Detours, fucking mental. There you go. Quick plug. There you go. There you go. I used to be in Midhurst Detours, but I'm not plugging that either. Yeah. That's good. Mind you, I think there's not a lot of about your Yeah, there you go. Yeah, everyone. Nah, it's all for later. Nah, oh, oh, I don't want to buy that. Yeah, I hope. There you go. Hey, well, we're doing an interview. Come on. Okay, good to see that. Not that I can think of any more serious questions to ask. Oh, no. Scooter in history. Scooter in history, yeah. See, we don't push us. You know, another thing, like, I don't know if you're in school or something like that. Yeah. Uh, well, every fucking... In the front row. Every cycle band that's got in scootering, we're all scooterists. Bullshit. Yeah, the Highliners were a couple. And Surfing Wombats, and the Radiax, and what was the other ones? Um, fucking hell, man. But anyway, I'm not slagging bands there anyway. But... So who are your favourite band? Yourself. Nah, I don't know. Don't I listen to everything? Some. What do you think of the DJ that had the last night? I thought he was fucking great. That's Mick Donnelly. Yeah? Yeah, he was like one of the top good rock DJs. Yeah, he was fucking great. I really enjoyed last night. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the people down here are all good rock. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and uh, the last weekend there was all sort of like, <coughs> psychobilly DJs and all the rest of it. They're playing psychobilly records, but who wants to listen to psychobilly records when you can hear the band? Yeah, that's it. That's so we thought, oh fuck it, get in the well, no, DJ. He was the only case of that people dancing in between the bands like it was fucking good. Do you think a lot of psychobillies sort of come from the scar race in the early eighties? A lot of psychobillies come from the scar age in the early eighties. Yeah. So I don't want scar anyway, so it's alright. Yeah. I mean, it depends done, on your age, doesn't it? We've got a scarish number. Night motor car, yeah. Yeah, Good but then it's because I'm like, a drummer. You know, Nassie, it's been life as... So. Yeah, but you, like, you do a lot of different styles, don't you? I mean, like... We have been known to do Midnight Air on a new album as well. Yeah, that was good, isn't it? It's <laughs> different, isn't it? Northern Soulish. But, I mean, the... Like, when you do a song, like, and you sort of say, oh yeah, like, a Mexico rhythm and all the rest of it. I mean, there's not a lot of bands that could get away with that sort of, like, fucking bell. No, but we didn't bend really much around, did we? We didn't bend a shit enough to do it. So, every, every other band's are really loud. I'm sort of getting down a slagging band now, I don't know. Do but everyone's trying to be too serious. And, well, that's what I, the point I was going to make is, fun, like, I mean, I've been going for the last 10, 12 years. I don't want to give my age away or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember Kid Kurt before they started. <laughs> and and it, then it was fun, you know, like you'd go out and you could have a dance and it was like funny. They were the original um, fun band before they Yeah, it was all grass skirts and guns and funny noses and all the rest of it. And now when I go out and dance, I find that people are taking it really seriously, like, and they want to, I don't know, prove it's, it's how all, big and tough they are. It's all, it's all new kids, isn't it? It's a like new age, isn't it? I think the trouble is, when most of your bands hit the top, they disappear, don't they? So it's yeah. better to stay where you are. Like yeah. You've got Enjoy your following. You've got your following, that's all you need, don't you? That's it. But well, really, we've got to bring the fun back in. That's it. I'm the bust of my best in the fucking. It's so good, buddy. That's what I'm trying to do. I mean, yeah, it's not rough. And he's still going now. Oh, but he did try to lose weight. <coughs> well, I'm not. I should not. I think that fat guys are really sexy. Who? Fat guys? Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, I'm aware of it.
So you haven't actually got a rupee for it? Yeah, we're going to have to go and sort something out later. You're not attached at all? No. Camera, no. <laughs> but I am. You can edit that bit. I'm not like this. Like, there's certain so warm bands, right? Really good band. They're funny on stage. They come off and they're all married in. Right. <laughs> Ain't that bad, but... Close enough. Uh, seriously married. That was too good, folks. <laughs> Yeah, it's all gone quiet, it's all gone quiet now. Yeah, what's up? I don't know, I think, I think we've covered just about every subject that there is. To someone said to me that you, yeah. someone said to me that they think that you've matured now that you're the leader, like the lead singer of the band. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I mean yeah, matured. So have you matured since the club? Yeah. I reckon you have. Yeah, I think I have. Like, I, I, used to, I used to be one of them little kiddies that are like, fucking his mouth off to everyone. Now it's, it's more fun. Yeah, you're right, actually, yeah. When I started, I was. <laughs> and then, it's just not about that. It's about having a. I realised it. Especially when the singer left. <laughs> <laughs> you left it down to you to sing. Yeah. So, I mean, that, was, that was before a detour was done as well. Yeah, but the whole thing about maturing life is there's. I notice now when I, when I go to the gigs like there seems to be an awful lot of young people there. Yeah, but it's about young people, but they just think they've got the right idea. They haven't got the right attitude. Their music comes first. It should be beer comes first. Sex drugs, better. Women. Well, women. I didn't think about playing after that. <laughs> so what about women in the psychobilly scene? It's not enough. Not enough. Up to 12. But it's not enough, full stop. Why? Over there, they'll fucking grab big boyfriends when I go and chat and the old boyfriend comes over. No, but is there a problem with like, women in the cycle with Because, I mean, uh, as I say, I'm one of the old ones. Like, I've been like, in the cycle with for too many years now, I can remember. Like, and I always find that people, men, because there's more men in the scene, <laughs>
Now, what is the point of that? I mean, that's totally sexist remark. It's not surprising why they do it for something shocking, because the lead singer is, isn't exactly fair. Well, well, she wears the sort of clothes that invites that sort of remark. Like, and people go down to see them because they think they're going to be wearing a skimpy underwear on stage. Dipsomaniacs don't do that. So why, what is it about a girl band that makes people make remarks like that when they're fucking good at what they do? Has anyone said to you, get your clothes off and stuff? <laughs> well, I would get me clothes off. It's quite easy going like that, you know. But it's not quite the same as a man getting his tits out of a bird getting it. I don't know, he's got a pretty good pair of tits. Not a bad pair. Got more knives. <laughs> I think it's 41, 42, that's not a bit, isn't it? No, man, 42, 43. I don't know. But beer. Beer is the guy to me. That's one of my ancient quotes. There's a difference between rockabillies and psychobillies. Beer. Beer. Very profound remark there. <laughs> That's the other one as well. That was my, that was one of my favourite quotes actually. That gets quoted all the time. Sorry, can we drink more beer? That was when I was younger. Where does your inspiration for writing the songs come from? Then? Or who writes the songs? Well, I write them. All. I write most of them. All. Yeah. Apart from the human sources blues. Who wrote that? Nas <laughs> and Scott. You do some pretty sexy songs anyway. Yeah. We're a sexy band. But then again, we're not. That makes sense. Oh, it's all in fun. Yeah, yeah we're sexist on stage. Well, this is where let me be sexist. Not that he's attached. No, not like attached. <laughs> Young girlies out there of the world. He's not attached, but this is why let me be sexist. No. She's home around here. Where did um, Cheese and Moose come from then? Some bird went up one night in Germany. Cheese yeah. and Moose. And she was really a moose. 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 Yeah, that's their favourite expression. Yeah. I know, I know some skinheads from Sweden and they're the same like all girls and mooses. They're only really ugly ones. Do no, right, them all girls and mooses? No, 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 only real fucking. Real pigs. Sexist again. Ended up with a real moose that time. I'd like to know what constitutes a pig. Where's blue, don't it? <laughs> I mean, how many girls do you know who go around saying that guy with a real pig? <laughs> that's true, actually. Yeah, I mean, they do, yeah. That's true. Actually, they say that guy with a real cripple dick. Yeah, well, he's not. Nah, but a real pig would say we wake up to him next morning think, did I honestly chat that out when I was sober? Did I honestly fucking You wake up next to him and think, for fuck's sake, did I really do that? Like, advise them on what to do. So, what we were trying to do was, we sorted out the DJs, like we've got to scoot this DJ in. Yeah, just for the first one, yeah? For the second one. Like the first one. The first one.